Two more days before South Africa's May 29th election, the leading parties, including the ruling African National Congress, ANC, held their final campaign rallies over the weekend. President Cyril Ramaphosa appealed to South Africans that if they give the ANC another chance, it will do better. Professor Sipo Sipo is the political analyst and former deputy vice chancellor for institutional support at the University of Zululand. He tells me it is looking more likely that Wednesday's vote will produce a coalition government led by the ANC. Well, the ANC brought out uh, the big guns. Former President uh, Tabun Beki, it brought uh, the other former President Khalmon Atlante. It got uh, the main entertainers, artists that it could buy, and uh, it looked like um, the polling changed positively towards the ANC. Whereas the polling was suggesting that the ANC would get as low as 40%. After a week of a serious campaigning and two weeks of campaigning, the number went up, suggesting that the ANC might get up to 45%. But uh, this week, it looks like uh, it might go slightly below 45%. From the ANC side, they are hoping that they will at least get 45% because most of the polling suggests that. We may find uh, that they might actually do better, but uh, everybody seem, seems to think that uh, even the ANC, it's already thinking around 45%, and if it's 45%, they think they would have done very well. We've been talking throughout the campaign period about the possibility of the ANC, uh, whether it can get majority um, I was reading also the EFF, Julius Malema, on the issue of whether he will be open to collaboration. And when that happens, if we talk about coalition government, in case, which parties are more likely to come together? Well, the ANC is almost like the Democratic Alliance. And most of the stalwarts within the ANC are more comfortable with um, the Democratic Alliance. Because uh, one needs to understand that uh, they get the funding from the same people. One must also understand that uh, the president of the ANC got money largely from the white uh, major donors who had uh, actually given the instruction that was very clear about making sure that uh, the ANC is business friendly. So at the moment, the current leadership of the ANC is under Ramaphosa's pocket. And if Ramaphosa is under the control of the white monopoly capital, it is most likely that uh, the ANC and the G may form a coalition. And uh, as I say, a number of stalwarts who are very angry with uh, the EFF would rather not work with the EFF. And besides, the EFF uh, seems to be on a far radical posture. Dobre town in Somalia's southern region was once ravaged by violence functional strife and constant attacks by al-Shabaab militants. But today, Dobre's residents cannot help but marvel at the first ever tarmac road that now connects the region to Afmado, an important city in the middle of the Juba region bordering Kenya. The critical artery was opened by the Kenya Defense Forces Engineering Squadron Best at the Dobre Forward Operating Base FOB as part of their mandate in African Union Transition Mission in Somalia. One of the most depressing challenges that faced Dobre was the lack of basic services, particularly health care. Years of conflict had put the town's medical infrastructure in a shambles, leaving its residents vulnerable to diseases and ill health. The Dobre General Hospital was for years a shell of its former self, but Abdinassis Mohammed, its director, says the KDF has been constantly supplying it with medicines and medical equipment. Without KDFs and Artemis intervention, this hospital would have been closed a long time ago. He said while receiving medical supplies from the KDF, he said, we had no medicine, 
staff feared coming here because of security threats but now normal operations have resumed after a very long time while handing over the medicines sector 2 atmis commander brigadier sayif salim rashid said the health of the local is paramount and they were determined to improve the hospital sector 2 is the largest with nine forward operating bases, including Dobre. The others are Afmado, Hosingo, Tabda, Belez, Seaport of Kude, Seaport of Bagavo, Abadel, Birol, and Kismau. Despite the improvement at the facility, the residents still visit the Artemis 62 level to hospital within the Dobre FOB, where KDF medics, led by Lieutenant Colonel Jared Kebeso, attended to them. Brigadier Rashid said theirs is a referral facility and provides medical support and evacuation for forces operating in the sector. Lieutenant Colonel Kabasso says the hospitals in Dobre need a lot of capacity building and KDF has a program to assist the local medical practitioners in critical areas such as laboratory, biomedical engineering and anesthesia and offer referral services. One of the beneficiaries of the medical mentoring program is Lieutenant Abdi Wahab, a medic in the Somali National Army who is based at the Sector 2 Level 2 Hospital to advance his medical skills and help his fellow Somali troops while conducting operations. I never could have moved away But now I seek what you teach I do believe I always should have stayed 